Thanks for going to join the podcast today. Uh, today episode, we got um, we got another celebrity who decided to um, pose for another <laughs> magazine company. Now, if you didn't want to check out my uh, last live I did with Rihanna and Ace Hot Rocky, by all means, so go and check that out um, and give me your perspective about that. But on this episode, like I say, we got another celebrity <laughs> doing the same as that thing. Um, people wanted to get my perspective about it. So let's talk about it, okay? Now this celebrity this time um he uh he became a very very popular uh, actor right um this actor name is Jonathan Major now uh, those of you who have been following Jonathan Make Majors, uh, he been in a lot of different shows and a lot of different uh, movies as well too. Uh, one of the um, one of the two biggest movies that he's in right now, he is in the Ant Man and Wasp movie. And also, he is um, going to be in Creed three as well too. So, just in case y'all know who I'm, who I'm talking about, uh, let me go ahead and uh, pull them up, and I'll show you. Now, this is on Jonathan Major right here. Okay. Now, uh, people wanted me to want to talk about this because of the the photo that he decided to do with with Ebony Magazine. As you can see, with Ebony Magazine, uh, he's doing this photo shoot um he's wearing like a a pink coat look like it he got his lip puckered like this uh women call it the duck lips well you 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 know when you when uh, women be posing they do the duck lips he's doing that with uh lip gloss and all this stuff on Got his leg crossing a you know a feminine waist sitting on top of a chair, and the whole thing is pink. Okay. So, my own first glance when when I looked at this right, I was when I looked at this, I'm, I'm not gonna leave a cap on your eye like man, this this shit look feminine as hell. What was he thinking about agreeing to do this right? Then I start I start thinking about it a whole lot. Start thinking about it a lot. I find it real fitting that um, whenever a uh, celebrity, preferably like actors as well too, whenever whenever they reach to a level or a sort of plateau of their career, for some strange reason, for some strange reason, Hollywood, I always want these men celebrities to do something in a fem feminine way. Like say, for example, Martin Lawrence. When he was reaching to the height of his career, guess what he had to do? He had to star in a movie called Big Mama's House. Did three movies, I believe, with Big Mama's House with him dressing like an old woman. Eddie Murphy, same situation. In the height of his career, started dressing up like a woman, the, the clumps. The Nutty Professor. All these uh, other celebrities, even um, when on uh, Kevin Hart, which he's an uh, actor slash comedian. When he reached to the height of his career, they started having him dressed up as a woman. He appeared on the episode of Saturday Night Live, dressed up like a woman. So I find it interesting that when these type of celebrities, they reach to a plateau of their career, automatically it's like Hollywood, like, yeah, in order for you to get to Super Saiyan 3, you have to do some things. And so in this situation right here with Jonathan Major. Now, there are some things behind this that I had research about. About this particular photo shoot. Um, matter of fact, let me uh, share this too. Here's the other part of it. But there, there's a, um, there are different things that I found out about this on particular photo shoot. One of the things that I found out about this on um, photo shoot is this: this I, I found out that the reason why it was on um, pink is because the actual photographer, right? Or the one photo editor and stuff, right? The photo editor is into anime. 
this particular anime is called on um, one piece I don't, I don't know if y'all follow anime I, I follow anime but but um this particular anime goes with the one um, popular character on one piece all right um named Flamingo or something like that I forgot to do name but this one character is very 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 flamboyant uh, meaning that this dude is like, <laughs> he's he's he appears that he is very 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 um gay but he's a he's a villain on one piece all right a very psychotic villain on one piece okay a uh, matter of fact um i could pull it up right quick it's better for me to show y'all than anything let me um let me do this for y'all real quick y'all y'all know how i rock so i'm going to do this real quick let me do this and i'm going to show y'all what i'm talking about One piece. All right, got to pull it up. Here we go. I'm sure y'all. All right, so this is the um, cartoon on One Piece that I'm talking about. Based on the sign anime, and so it was believed that the um that the photographer is into one piece that he's on into like on anime real 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 strong, and so this is the villain that I guess this um photographer was trying to replicate right within Jonathan major now did like I say this villain is kind of one uh, is you know if you ever watch. One Piece, right? This villain is very flamboyant. That's the best word that I can describe this villain. Very flamboyant. Very um sadistic in nature. So I find that it's interesting that they wanted him to mimic the behavior of this toxic narcissistic evil dude which his name is on um, do flamingo on one piece find it very interesting and here's another thing too that i find uh interesting about this whole um ordeal as well too i also find it interesting that um the magazine that decided to do this was with Ebony. And to my understanding, uh, Ebony is a black owned magazine. To my understanding, to my understanding, they should be still black owned. If they're not, who cares? But to my understanding, I believe that they're they are black owned. So I actually went on to one they their website and you know, and this is what I see. Now this is on the Ebony website. Went on here and this is Jonathan Major. Let me uh, restore this real quick. All right, so this is John Jonathan Major, right? And even on these pictures and stuff, right, even though they're trying to replicate anime, allegedly, this is another anime character, too, if I'm not mistaken. But but um, even though they're trying to replicate this, right, it's the whole point of it. It's the whole point of it. Out of every character... That's on this anime, right? That's on One Piece, right? Out of every character that this person could have chose to uh, have Johnson Major replicated, right? Right? Why did he choose to have him to replicate the most flamboyant, the most feminine, the most psychotic character on this particular TV show? There are plenty of other characters on this One Piece anime show that he could have had mimic. 
could have mimicked Loki. He could have mimicked any one of these other characters. But the editor decides to have him mimic this particular character. My own theory behind this is that, is this is that, Hollywood, Hollywood want to do their very best to try to emasculate men. Preferably, they want to do their very best to try to emasculate black men, black actors, black celebrities. We say it happen all the time. If you want to rise up to the occasion, you have to perform a sacrifice. And this particular sacrifice is that you have to emasculate yourself. Tyler Perry, when he was doing his, his plays and stuff for Ferris in Georgia, before he even introduced the concept of Medea, his plays wasn't all that. I mean, it was average at best. But the moment when he decided to dress up as a woman, that's when he became popular. That's when he be, became the only popular. That's when he be. That's when he was recognized in Hollywood. So, is there a gender behind this? Absolutely, it is. In this situation, yes, absolutely, a gender behind this. Every single time that these um dudes they reach to a certain plateau, they have to do do a sacrifice to keep it going. They have to do a sacrifice. Now the um the photos is by um the story by Corey Murray in this article, but the photos is by this dude Keith Major, and Keith Major is the dude that just like I say he is um the one who did his photos and he's the one who's into anime. Now I'm not gonna read this article. I want to read this quote that John Major said. Okay, and I want y'all pay attention to this. Johnson Major said this, nothing more diverse than the fact that the big bad of the MCU is a young black boy from Texas. And there is no help. There's no allies. What do Jonathan Major mean by that? And yes, I knew Jonathan Major was a Texas native. I knew that. But what do he mean by that? What do you mean by that? He is articulating his struggles as being a adult black male, especially a adult black male who's trying to um, make it as being an actor. He had to go through all this process of building himself up, building himself up to be discovered by Hollywood to get his big break. Then once when he finally became, once when he was discovered, that's when all the weird shit started happening. So, of course, um, when you're in a situation like this, right, y'all, and you just want to make it right, you're not going to be thinking about the, the implications of you making it. The only thing you're going to be thinking about is making it. You're just going to be thinking about the destination. That's it. You're not going to be thinking about how you got there to get to where you need to be at. Or what you need to do to stay there. And this is what they do. With the media. With Hollywood. Word. This is what they do. This is how they hook, line, and sink you. This is how they bait you. They'll take your story as something inspiring to show people, preferably younger men, that you could do all these things that he's doing right now and become successful. But the flip side on it is that you have to um, sacrifice something. You have to take away something. You have to sacrifice your divine masculinity the thing that make you be a, a man 
there are certain things that I personally believe that there are certain things that a, a man shouldn't do. I believe that there are certain lines that a man shouldn't cross. Period. One of them lines is dressing as feminine as possible. Another line is literally simply dressing like you is a woman. There have to be a distinct difference between a man and a woman, literally. And I'm talking about biologically speaking. There have to be a distinct difference. Now, I know we're living in a time now, especially Hollywood is Hollywood pushing this narrative, right? About transgenderism and all this other stuff, right? But the whole traditional values of man and a woman have to be distinguished. And that is very important. That's very important. Now, it is absolutely really nothing that you as, you know, a viral, you as a citizen, whatever, could really do about this because they control a lot, even our governments. But you as a person, you could do everything about this. You could continue to inform your, if you have children, you can inform your sons that you don't have to sell yourself to get to a certain place. You don't have to you don't have to sell out your moral compass to get to where you need to go. You could have moral integrity and still arrive at your destination. You don't have to do all this. But I noticed that. These things always typically happen, and the reason why these things typically happen is because of these beta males. Yeah, I said it. Jonathan Major is a beta male. Kevin Hart is a beta male. Who else came out of Texas? Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx came out of Texas, too. Same, his, his story is the same as Jonathan Major. Story the same way. Came out, and guess what? This dude ended up on Atlanta Road on in Living Color, and guess what he had to do? You guessed it, dress like a woman. But that's the thing that they that they don't show y'all is that these are these not actual men. All these all these dudes are beta males. Most of their story, it's the same exact way where they came out of a single parent household where it was the mom who was raising them. And the mom was a modern day woman. And teaching teaching their sons to be a beta male. And this is the resort that you get. From the outside, people could look at this, right? And they could say, oh man, you know, he's doing this thing. Look at him. He's doing his thing. But on the inside, beta male energy all the way. Look at this. Entertainment is a means of catalyst and that leads to change. Change from what to what? From what to what? And every on photo that this dude taking, he's looking as beta male-ish as possible. He's not looking masculine. He's looking beta male-ish. And feminine at the same time. On every photo. Nothing is a monolith. Not blackness, not maleness, not comic book villains. And I want to say this part too is because he perso personally said this to attack masculinity. Because this is one of the uh, main arguments about, you know, uh, in the um, 
um, black manosphere and stuff, right? This is one of the main arguments that they talk about is by being a monolith or in the black community as well, too. This is one of the main arguments that they say. So this quote was directed towards that. So y'all could safely say that um, Jonathan Major be looking at y'all content on YouTube and on TikTok. But that's why he said what he said. Then, to, to try to justify the behavior, he says this. My job is to tell stories. And to tell stories in a way that allow people to see themselves. And to change for the better. What story is he telling in this photo shoot to y'all? For us, what I see, the story that he's telling y'all in this photo shoot is simple. It is okay for us to surrender ourselves from traditional roles. It is okay to do that. It is okay to, uh, to embrace your femininity. And if you don't accept that, then you need to change and get with the program. Then this dude dressed like this. Feminine as hell. Then, then another thing too is that like these photos that y'all looking at too, right? See, these photos isn't for the the men, okay? It's not for the men. These photos are strictly for women, preferably. These photos are strictly for modern day women. These photos are strictly for the modern day modern day uh, feminist type women. To give them something to lust after while embracing this whole narrative about this dude being a beta, this dude being weak. Because that's the type of one energy that modern day women want from men is to have this weak feminine type role. And on this picture, he's trying to show that he has um, some type of emotional intelligence. But as y'all know, on my shows, beta males, <laughs> beta males, beta males, beta males, they are not emotionally intelligent at all. They always, always, always think the latter. And that's pretty much the end of this. They always think the latter. So, how do I feel about this? I feel that um that it is indeed in fact in fact a agenda that um Hollywood is um pushing out this year to really really solidify men not being men no more men. Uh, solidified men not, not being masculine no more, not having that masculine energy where they want men to be as feminine as possible. Now, keep in mind, even though this whole photo shoot was uh, in pink or hot pink or whatever you want to call this stuff, right? I'm per se is not talking about the color, but I'm more so focusing on the presentation of it. The overall presentation presentation of the photo shoot the message that the photo shoot is telling us that's why i'm focusing on 
Because there'd be times where I wear pink, maybe once or twice a year I wear pink, preferably when it be breast cancer awareness month, I'll wear, you know, pink, like hot pink, whatever you want to call it. But just like I say, it don't have nothing to do with the pink color, but it have everything to do with the representation behind it. The representation behind it is simple. It's focusing on modern day women with modern day behavior to let these modern day women normally lust out, out for this man, but to embrace the message behind it too, which is that they they want men to be fit. They want men to be friendly. And they want men to be submissive. They want it to be the other way around. They don't want women to be this way, but they want the men to be this way. So what do y'all think about my assessment on this? Um, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Till then, see y'all again on the uh, next episode.